Phillies take game one. Robert Valdez for the Astros trying to get this series evened up as it heads back to Philadelphia for game three on Monday. 28 years old out of the Dominican Republic is Robert Valdez. He just keeps on getting better. He's in his fifth season in the majors. The Phillies have their first base runner of the game. Brings up the game one hero, JT Real Muto. Two and two comes back home and strikes him out. Back to that curveball to finish off Real Muto for his first strikeout of the game. Hoskins off first as the one two comes home from Valdez and a fly ball to left center field. Aledmus Diaz is there and that's a scoreless top. And the inning draws to a close. So Fromber issues a one out walk but nothing more and we're through a half inning in game two of the World Series as we talked about off of the top getting this guy going Jose Altuve who heads up there to face the best the Phillies have John one thing that Altuve has got to do is change the scouting report getting him out and it could start right here with the first pitch fastball if he gets it up in the zone fastball and it's banged in the left he got a fastball up and took advantage on his way to second to start this game with a double Jose Altuve a sight for sore eyes for Houston fans got a guy who's been struggling against fastballs gets one and gets a double now you got a guy at the plate in Pena who has only hit fastballs and he got a breaking ball and the Astros waste no time two pitches into the game one nothing Houston back to back doubles from Altuve and Pena and it's one nothing like that start your engines ALCS MVP Jeremy Pena he's all heart and now it's Alvarez so they get Altuve going can they get the same from their big left handed slugger in the air the other way Schwarber goes back onto the track he's at the wall and it's off it the Astros all over things right away how about three straight doubles and a two nothing lead Double your pleasure at Minute Maid Park, three in a row, and the Astros come out banging. Well, if you went to the refrigerator to get a drink, you missed action right away by the Astros. Memorable start to game two. Out of a third, two out, Yuli Gurriel at the plate. The 0-1, ground ball left side, right at the shortstop Sosa. He comes in for it, throws to first low, and Hoskins can't handle it. Alvarez scores, and the Astros lead three to nothing. A low throw in and out of the mitt of Hoskins. It looked like it skipped on the dirt before it got to his glove. Well, big things early, the three straight doubles, but then little things leading to the next run. But Miss Diaz gets him swinging and ends this first inning. Tough first for Zach Wheeler and the Phillies. Clean innings are so important in the postseason. We haven't seen a ton of them, but clean innings are huge. They're stress relievers. Two out, Bohm still at first for Matt Vierling, the center fielder, ground ball softly hit, coming on the field at Altuve. He's got it, takes it to second himself, and the inning is over. A one-out walk, but nothing more. Strike three, fifth strikeout for Fromber Valdez, and there's two away. Here's Rio Muto. He struck out on a curveball his last time up. There's a two hopper to Bregman, hit weakly. Bregman fields it on the run, throws out Rio Muto in time for the third out of the inning. So Valdez, once again with weak contact, strands a runner. It's Bryce Harper to lead off this inning against Fromber Valdez. Hammer got him, strike three. There's the Texas hammer. Six strikeouts now for Valdez. Here's Alec Bohm. He walked his last time up. Fastball. Strike three, bullseye! He was looking for the curve and he got the cheese. Seven strikeout for Fromber Valdez. He's retired five in a row. So man aboard for the eight hitter, Matt Vierling, looking for his first impact on this postseason. Put in play for the first time, but he's got exactly what he wanted. A double play. Even with a speedy Veerling, they go 6-4-3. Phillies have had a little bit of traffic tonight, but they're 0 for 7 with men on base. 3 0 Houston here in game two. Strikes out Sosa. Throws him with a fastball, and the inning draws to a close. Eighth strikeout for Fromber Valdez. The five year anniversary of Alex Bregman's walk off hit, a wild game five in 2017. And here's Bregman with two gone and a runner at first. Hits one in the air to deep left center field. Back it goes. It is gone. Alex Bregman strikes again in the World Series. And the Astros again lead 5-0. Yeah, new dad this year, right? He's got that dad strength, man, ever since he had his baby. It's been a different hitter. First two aboard for the Phillies here in the sixth. Schwarber and Hoskins setting the table for the heart of the lineup. 
Philadelphia needs to punch in here as we talked about so many times before when their ability to score and get back in the game and so right here is the best chance they're going to have got him with a high fastball well, you got those big looping curves and then 15 miles per hour harder up there letter high good luck so the key at bat here Bryce Harper to the plate 0 for 2 tonight chops the first one to second El Tube the second one up the first double play Ending, ending double play score in four six three Phillies at first and second and nobody out and they get nothing the third goes Castellanos and here's Dusty Baker from Valdez going to get a great show of appreciation from the sellout crowd just a dusty order for the Astros they will concede this run they're looking for outs then they need eight more Segura on an 0 one golfs one to left Sends Diaz back, tiptoeing to the track in the perfect spot. He's got it. It'll drive home Castellanos, and the fills are on the board. A 5 1 game as Gene Segura gets a sacrifice fly. It's a rally. You're down four. You just got to walk. Thunder's coming up. Speaking of that thunder, here's Kyle Schwarber, who's got a single and a walk tonight. It seemed to have been seeing the ball pretty well. Turns on one, down the line, turns the power. It's gone. Babe Schwarber. And it's a 5-3 game as he clubs his 13th in the postseason. Astros fans are saying, uh-uh. Schwarber's drowning the bases. The umpires are now coming together. We will see. I don't even know if Schwarber thought it was a home run. I don't think he did. And now they say foul ball. If it disappears, it's foul, and it does disappear. These guys had it all along. All right, so Schwarber, after striking some fear into the Astros and Montero, settles back in for another 2-2 pitch. Schwarber again hits one in the air. Back to right field. Tucker to the wall. He's got it. Oh, my goodness. The park just large enough to hold it. Kyle Schwarber, two close calls. Man, almost back-to-back. -back. Yeah, it's crazy to say you're almost back-to-back, -back, but to have zero. Two out in the eighth, Rio Muto. First pitch from Montero. Grounds one up the middle. Payne is there. Shovels it off to nobody. And headed for third is Bryson Stock. Altuve thought that Pena was going to first. Pena thought Altuve was going to second. Tough play right there, but you just sense that Philly comes up with big hits when they need him. And instead, the door is cracked open here for Bryce Harper. Harper cracks his bat, short right field. Out goes Altuve, on comes Tucker and Pena. Bermuda's triangle closes, and the shortstop Pena comes over to catch it. Phillies down to their last out in game two. As the Astros on the verge of tying this series up, best hope for the Phillies, Brandon Marsh. On the ground to first, and it gets by Gurriel. Bowman to score, Marsh to second, it's 5-2, and it's not done yet. If Stock can reach, Schwarber would come up representing the tying run. This man has been one tough out so far this postseason. Browns one to second for Altuve. He's got it. And the Astros have a win in game two. The World Series is tied 1-1 as it heads back to Philadelphia. Well, buckle your seats. It's going to get raucous, loud, crazy in Philadelphia. And this is going to be a really, really good World Series.